FM 89.9 KMOJ, no doubt about it, is truly the people's station. Walter Banks Jr., Q-Bear, got you in the midst of drive time, taking you where you're going to and might be where you just came from. That was TLC, that's Tender Love and Care, with Sleigh Ride. Eight minutes after the hour, 3 o'clock within the Twin Cities. And as I informed you earlier, we have a guest calling in and talking about Wealth Day, which is going to take place on this Saturday, December the 8th, from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And if you'd like to register, that's www.wealthday.net. It's going to take place at the Crown Plaza Hotel and Suites in Minneapolis at the airport, which is uh, located, and now check this out, it's 3 Apple Tree Square in Bloomington. So it's the Crown Plaza Hotel by the airport. And I want to make sure that you know that so you know where to be. And it starts at 9 a.m. to goes till 4.30 p.m., and on the phone line, I have Miss S. Renee. And uh, how are you doing this afternoon? I am fabulous. Okay. Now, <laughs> for, for, for the listening audience, where, where are you at right now? Because I know you're going to be here in the Twin Cities. And I know they've been talking about people flying in and back and forth. And that process has already taken place. So I don't know if you're in the Twin Cities yet and you just got off the plane or if you're on your way. And if so, where are you coming from? I, I I am not in the Twin City yet, but I can't wait to get there. Right now, I am literally sitting in my meditation room, because, <laughs> and I will be headed to Wilmington. Literally, when I jump off the phone with you, I'm going to be headed uh, north in the state of Delaware. Okay, okay. Now, for the listening audience, um, um, and, and I'm looking at what's it written in front of me, when it comes to, uh, it says, nearly 20 years of experience in image, branding, and self-development. And, and, yeah. and, and I'm looking out also at your picture, and it looks like you're in your early 20s. So how did that work out? <laughs> I started when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that compliment. Um, I actually um, have had a wonderful life and a great journey. have made a lot of transitions. Uh, Q Bear, which is why I'm, I do what I do, um, was in corporate America like like many people, and it didn't fit for me. Uh, was in the entertainment business for ten years. I actually have modeled with some of the biggest names in the world, actually, such as Iman, Susan Lucci, etc. And then I went on to host a show for Paramount, you know, owned by, by Viacom, the fourth largest entertainment conglomerate in the world. But what's really interesting about that, because I don't want it to seem like so big, I never took a class in broadcast journalism. And so a part of what I do is help people to uh, create the image, create the brand that makes them buyable, not just sellable, but buyable. And so it doesn't, I don't really get into, okay, what are your credentials here? That No, what's inside of you and what value can you bring to the potential employer or the potential client because I can help package you to get you there. Okay, now let's look at uh, as an author because you've also written books uh, such as There Is More Inside and The mm -hmm. Bridge to Your Brand. Now, now, yeah. if you would break those two down, what would you say the readage look like? Wow. Um, first, uh, there's more inside. That's about courage, confidence, person about, uh, personal accountability. It's about who am I, what am I here to do, how do I overcome the stuff that I've been through, because 95% of the messages that I received by the time I was five years old were negative, which is why many of us keep stopping and going, stopping and going, stopping and going, because there's stuff that we haven't worked through. And so it's really about becoming present to who you really are and, and going back home, home being to yourself and to God. So that's what There's More Inside is about. It's for anyone who is feeling stuck and keep having those stop and go moments. How do I really um, become more confident and take ownership of my life? We're going to talk about that too the day of the, the, the workshop at Wealth Day. And then the bridge to your brand. After you've taken ownership of your life, then why were you sent to this planet? What were you here set here to do? And who are you sent here to serve? And so it helps you to really begin to package it, become more likable, marketable, and credible so that um, you can actually begin to make money at who you really are. Okay. Now give me this one last question because I know we got to get you on that plane. But what brought you to the consciousness 
of what you do at a very young age? What what was that starting point, wow. and and who who did you look up to that brought you down that travel? Well, very 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 good question. Um, first of all, I want to be totally transparent. Where I stand right now, it took me almost ten years to get here. So the people who are like, "Wow, wow, wow," you know, it takes it is a journey. Um, and what Wealth Day is about is um, decreasing the amount of time it takes for you to get where you want to go because we've been there. We understand what it means to be where you are. And and truth be told, sometimes as we try to move to our new dimension. We kind of get stuck, and then we get somebody else who's at a different level to help us through. So it's always about being pulled through, pulled through, pulled through. How did I get to the space, or how did I start on this journey? Twelve years old, te teased and bullied, totally shut down, didn't have a voice, didn't know who I was, what I was, just all over the place. Many of us have, have been there at a certain point of your life, but I knew that there was something more. And having been raised in the church, I knew there was a God, but how do I find the God in me? And so I started reading books, and books became my salvation, if you will. Um, and I started to read books and understand if I pretend like I was happy, I'd be happy. And after a while, you start to believe it. I started practicing that concept at 12, and by the time I was 14, I was queen of the school, most popular, best personality, um, friendliest. So um, the principles that I teach really help you to connect with yourself and connect with other people and to really, really begin to see and shine in all your brilliance because we all are brilliant, all of us, and we are full of light and love. Now, how do you get that to shine through and add value to yourself and then to the world? That's the key about, and, and what we'll be talking about, um, branding your brilliance. That's the title of my, my segment. How do we get to that state, and how do you take your brilliance and then begin to make money? Okay. And not just make money, but, but, but wealth, accumulate wealth, because wealth isn't just about money, and I want to be clear about that, because sometimes we're always focusing on the dollar, we lose sight of the calling, and I want to be clear that the calling comes first, and the money follows because you showed up to serve. There we go. There we go. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you very much for the opportunity and the time and for blessing the listening audience. And I look forward to seeing you on this Saturday. And I will definitely be there. They got me on two different schedules, so I won't be there for the whole duration, but I will definitely be in the building and looking forward to meeting you as well. I am totally excited um, to not only meet you, but I'm honored to be, you know, to be able to come and to be in the presence of such awesome people. Can't wait to meet you. I love you already, and I have held you up in light and love um, in belief that we're going to bless each other. And I'm looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, no question about it. That's S. Renee, and she will be here on this Saturday. It's entitled Wealth Day, and it's going to take place on Saturday, this Saturday, December the 8th, and from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and you can register and get more information at www.wealthday.net. It's going to take place at the Crown Plaza Hotel and Suites in Minneapolis at the airport, and it's off of, uh, now check this out, 3 Apple Tree Square in Bloomington. It's right by the airport. I believe it's the exit off of 34th and 494. And if you want ticket information or more information, again, that's www.wealthday.net. Also, uh, to the 11th caller at 612-377-3456, I got a pair of tickets for you, and I'm letting you know right now, looking forward to it, looking forward to it. It's FM 89.9 KMOJ, the People's 